Our guest today has gone from Bake Off contestant to one of Britain's favourite cooks and a real national treasure. Nadia Hussein is back on TV tonight with her latest series and this time she's on a mission to get us to spice up our lives. Oh, that's good. Please welcome Nadia Hussein. <laughs> There could not be another entrance song, really, <laughs> could there? <laughs> it's so good to see you. Like we say, Nadia's Simple Spice is on tonight, 8.30 BBC Two. It's a beautiful series, Nadia. And it's, it, it's you trying to engage with spices and making us all appreciate what you can do with actually very few spices. Yeah. But they really can transform everything that we do. Absolutely. It's just eight spices four ground, four whole. And these are the spices that my mum cooks with, my sisters cook with, my grandma before my mum cooked with. And, and, and they're so simple. And I think the worry is that when people think spices, they think spicy, mm. they're two completely different things. Yeah, Chili fair. powder is spicy. Yeah. Spices are delicious. So, you know, it's just learning how to use those. And um, I love that with those eight spices, you can do every single recipe in the book. So it's amazing. I'm so pleased you said that, because I was totally watching that thinking, oh, I don't like spicy things. <laughs> no, 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 it's yeah. not. This is it. I can, if I can change your mind, well, it's then I, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's exactly but isn't it. the other thing? People think of spices, they think of curries, they think of main courses, but you can use spices in cakes. Absolutely. There's, there's so many things, they just make that little bit different. Oh, absolutely. I mean, things like you can use fennel, you can use cinnamon, yeah. you can use bay leaves, you can use all of those kind of spices, cardamom in sweet bakes. And I think it's so important to kind of be able to, to know that you can incorporate them in savoury and sweet cooking. So it's, yeah, it's like there are over 100 recipes. And I think if you don't like spices or you're nervous or you want to get into the world of spices and you just want to give it a go, I think it's a really good place to start. But I've noticed that too of late, because I take a lot of supplements and things and have done for years. And, you know, you're used to all the, a cod liver oil and, you know, vitamin C and things like that. But I've noticed that turmeric, for example, it's gone into practically every tablet that you see now advertised. I mean, I, I, I've been having turmeric from the moment that I was born, so I, technically I should live to about 100. <laughs> um, but turmeric, great anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, fennel is really good for digestion. So, like, yeah, I should live forever and be really regular. Yes. So, yeah. Well, that's what I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you about life at home? Because obviously you've been such a success with your TV series and your books. How do you and your husband manage to get on? I've, I'm reading in the notes that you actually set aside time every day because obviously I've failed. <laughs> so I want your advice. I want you to tell me how you obviously took a decision that each time there'll be one bit of every day where you touch base. Yeah, so we debrief. It's a thing yeah. that we do. It's cool. I know it sounds really clinical, but no, it, we do. And, and, and you guys have kids and like, you know, it's like, it's when they become teenagers, yeah. uh, you have a lot less time for each other. And you find that whenever you're talking, it's always about the kids or what they didn't do. And I think when they were little, we used to give ourselves a score out of 10. We used to be like, so, I mean, I, I, a lot of the times I was like a three out of 10. I was like, I did badly today. Um, but now we debrief, we take 20 minutes on an evening. I'll text him or he'll text me and we'll, sit, we'll, we'll stand you know, in our kind of like dressing area in our bedroom and we'll be like, should we, like, and we'll debrief without them listening. And we'll talk about what we did and what we think we could do better and what we could change. And we have a hug and we have a kiss and we're like, right, let's keep at it. And Does your lovely it. husband ever criticise you? Do, yeah, absolutely. Like he was what? like, <laughs> wow, you were like a two out of 10 today. He was like, <sighs> and, and, and he does also say, and I do the same. Like, we have to be really honest with each other. Oh, I think say. I'd be offended with a two out of ten, Nadia. This could start arguments <laughs> in my house. Deep briefs are not good for yeah, me, I don't you, think. I think. You've got to really kind of shed... You've got to have really thick skin and yeah. you've got to be able to be ready to take that criticism because mm. it, I think it's really important to learn because teenagers are a whole other ball game, my friend. Okay. Whole other ball game. And you recently had a really lovely moment with your mum, didn't you, where she said that you were beautiful? No, 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 she didn't no? say beautiful. She said, I look nice. Oh. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, I am waiting for the day she says beautiful. She didn't say beautiful. She said, you look nice. It took her 38 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's... She has never, ever said you're beautiful. No. What? I'm not offended either. And how, how did that make you feel then when she said you look nice? Because you obviously remember it. Like, that was a moment it for was, you. It was obviously important. Because I was like, yeah. oh, she said I look nice. Uh -huh. um, but she grew up in a, in a society where they didn't tell us that we were... You know, they didn't tell women they were beautiful. They just... 
they married them and they did the job and they got on with it. And so for me, I've become used to my mum never saying things like that. But if anything, it doesn't matter that my mum doesn't say it to me, but I tell my daughter every single day, yeah. you are the best single-handedly the most beautiful human being I've ever laid eyes on. And, and her brothers tell her that, and her dad tells her that, and they are setting the bar high yeah, yeah. for whenever she yeah, has out there. And that is important to me. Can I say that you are beautiful? Thank you. I'm sitting here looking yeah. at your skin, and I'm Thank like, you. if that's Absolutely. what spices do for your skin, <laughs> I know. I'm in. That's it. Right. Get on to I it. I am. <laughs> how has your household changed now that you've got teenagers? Because you've got three children. Yeah. And has the atmosphere changed? And do they cook or do they help more? It's what? a lot of walking on eggshells. <laughs> and that's got nothing to do with the baking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, I, mean, I mean, honestly, sometimes they look at me and they look at me, I think, they think, why are you still here again? Yeah. Like, why do you live in my house? Um, but it is, it's, you know, they're amazing because I think, I used to think that they'd never cook and they'd never get into it, but it's amazing now. He, my eldest is 17 and he can, he, he makes an amazing steak so he can get in the kitchen and he can rustle stuff up for himself and, and for us. Uh, my second son hates cooking. But he he he's very good at dishes, so that that works. Somebody needs to have, okay, yeah. somebody needs to do the dishes, sure. and I'm happy for him to do it. And my little girl loves baking, so we don't do it together as much because we prefer not to have conflict. Uh, so <laughs> it's like if I'm in the kitchen, stay out, and if you're in the kitchen, yeah. you know, I'm 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 not going in there. So. But you've all had to, I guess, adjust because life has changed so much. You know, you you were always a fabulous cook, but suddenly you managed to combine this passion with a profession. Yeah. But your children, your family, everyone swept along with that journey that you've been on as well. And it's difficult coming out the other end. You talk about friendships and relationships. Yeah. And it's, it is a strange one to adapt to when you've come from this lovely normal life where you're cooking because you want to. Yeah. Um, I think it's friendships, I think, definitely have been affected for me. I think once I, I moved away from home quite early. I was quite young, 21, you know, I was having my first child. So I moved away from home. So lots of those connections had already broken. But it was when I did this, I had, it was really interesting because actually it was all like it, it was all the women around me that I, I used to spend a lot of time with as, as a teenager who said, well, look, whatever it is that you're doing, we'll be here when you're done. Otherwise, we're not we're not okay with you doing it. And so suddenly those friendships didn't exist anymore. Um, and what I don't do anymore is pine over friendships that, that used to be. It's more about like, I know who I am now and I have this amazing circle of people that I love and I trust. And I think when you get to our age, that's the most important thing. It's yeah. not about worrying about what we used to have because often the people that you lose are the people who are still thinking like a 16 year old. Yeah. And yeah. I'm here ready to hit 40 and really happy just and to- take the world on, yeah. which is what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Nadia, like we say, Nadia's Simple Spices, BBC Two tonight at 8 p.m. It's a beautiful series.